Continued instability in the Democratic Republic of Congo is just one of the conflicts in Africa Amnesty says is causing a growing refugee crisis that the world is not addressing. It says Africa must be helped more, notably by the EU, to deal with huge numbers of refugees displaced and suffering because of conflict on the continent. You could feel that uh, a, a growing sense of, uh, uh, you know, a lack of respect of rights for people seeking refuge uh, in, in the European Union. Amnesty also claims some governments in Africa, such as Kenya, Mauritania and Nigeria, are harming human rights in the name of anti-terror legislation. But Amnesty's list of African concerns does not end there. Amnesty International also names Ethiopia, Rwanda and Sudan as examples of countries which are quashing all dissent and disregarding basic standards of human rights. And South Africa has also raised eyebrows at Amnesty over the past year as a result of, among other things, police force used against protesters. In this year we've seen emblematic, gross and brutal forms of police brutality in South Africa. Not only the Marikana massacre, but we've also seen, um, and the world has witnessed, a brutal murdering of a Mozambican refugee taxi driver who've been dragged to days by a police van in, in South Africa. And these are cases which really indicate uh, that there is a systematic and gross failure on the part of the government to address police brutality. Africa, in Amnesty's view, still therefore has a lot to do on human rights. But especially when it comes to refugees, Amnesty believes the continent should not be left to deal with the problems alone. Oli Barrett, London. News that moves. ENCA.com.